Ajax. Here goes. Oh, it's so hot. Oh. Um, Jax, I think you're supposed to run towards first base now. Oh, I can't run in this heat. I need to cool off. Or maybe what you need is a miracle. Otto, what are you doing? Like Moses, I'm going to use my powers to help you, my people, with a miracle. I don't think this is a miracle situation. It's just hot. By tapping my staff on this stone, I will call forth water for you. But there's a drinking fountain over there. Behold, from this rock, water! <clears throat> water! Behold, water. Come on. I think the heat's gotten to Otto. No, Moses got water from a stone for his people, and I can too. Okay. Well, yeah. we're gonna go get a drink. Yeah. Come on, we got this. Water! So thirsty. What in the world? It's a raccoon pool party! The raccoons have gone too far. Not to worry. If my people need that drinking fountain to cool off, then I can help. I'll transform my staff into a snake, like Moses did. But then we'll have a snake to deal with. How is that better? No, the snake will chase off the raccoons. Hey, raccoons, let my drinking fountain go! Oh, now the raccoon has a weapon. Run! Just a little further, everyone. I don't know why I couldn't do the other miracles, but I'm sure about this one. Ah, we're here! Behold! The lake! Oh, that's actually a great idea! And now, I'll part the water, and we can all hang out in the middle of the lake, cool as cucumbers. Wait, what? Behold! Ah, come on! Moses parted the Red Sea. Why can't I part a little lake? But Moses didn't part the Red Sea. God did. And God got water from a stone and made the staff change into a snake. Yeah, all Moses did is listen to God and do what God asked. So what are you saying? It was God's power that did all that stuff for Moses and his people? Well, yeah, God's got the power to do anything. But, but I really wanted to help my people. You did. You brought us to the lake to cool off. I guess I did. Ha! It's a miracle! Not a miracle, but still a real nice thing to do. And that's why I don't think you should launch the spaceship Jungle Gym into space. Wow, Ada, I guess I was way off about what Pastor Donna was trying to tell us in her sermon this week. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> well, let me just power down the engines. Oh no, I pushed the wrong button! Oh, why did I put the on and off buttons so close to each other? Otto to Principal Durfler's office. Otto to Principal Durfler's office. Oh no! N not Principal Durfler! Maybe it's not about the playground spaceship. It's about the playground spaceship. I'm doomed! Ada, I just want you to know, if I don't ever come back, I want you to have my comic book collection. Uh... Ada, what are you doing? Going with you to Principal Durfler's office. But you didn't do anything wrong. I know. Well, I sent a piece of the school's playground equipment up into space. They're gonna... Well, I don't know what the punishment is for that, but it's got to be bad. Yep. So, goodbye. Nope. I'm going with you, Otto. Well, you coming along won't make any difference. I'll still get in trouble. It's no good running, Otto! I can match anything you can do! We're twins! Yeah? What about this? 
<laughs> Sorry, Ada. You don't want to be tied down to this sinking ship. Ah! I just went around the jungle gym. I know how you think, Otto. Oh, okay, fine. But if you go with me, you won't be there for the start of the Covenant campers meeting. <gasps> oh, yeah. That is today. And they're giving out merit badges. I earned so many of those. So you go to the meeting and leave me to my horrible fate. <sighs> All right, Otto, here we go. At least Ada doesn't have to get mixed up with... Oh, come on! Hey, Otto! Ada, what are you doing here? You should be off getting merit badges. I want to be here. Why? You're terrified of Principal Durfler. Yes, I'm incredibly scared to go. But if you're going to get in trouble, I want to be there for you. Wait, really? Yes. You're my brother. And my friend. If you're going through something bad, there's nowhere else that I should be. Wow. Thanks, Ada. Otto to Principal Durfler's office. Otto to Principal Durfler's office. <laughs> Hall pass. I had it a second ago. <laughs> L let me see. A wise guy, eh? You know where we send wise guys? The principal's office. The principal's office? Get in line. Give this demerit ticket to Principal Durfler. Wait, none of you had a hall pass? I had a hall pass. But Lucas didn't care. He just tore it up and then told me to go to the principal's office. He even sent Pastor Pete to the principal's office, and he was only here to donate books. <laughs> Lucas is out of control. Hi, Otto. Huh? <laughs> he said Tot here too? But she's in preschool. That's not even in the same building. Play? Play? Oh, uh, no, Tot. We can't play with your Echo Bear right now. We have to figure out what to do about Lucas. Tot teacher? I tried, but it's our word against his. And we're the kids who keep getting sent to the principal's office. So that's it? Lucas can do whatever he wants because none of us can stand up to him? Not unless someone can prove that he's being a terrible hall monitor. Here. Hall pass? <laughs> just kidding. It doesn't matter if you have a hall pass or not. Why? Because I just tear it up like I always do. Why? Because as hall monitor, I can send anyone to the principal's office anytime I want. And no one can stop me. Not you, not the teachers, not even that clueless Principal Durfler. Does that answer your question? Yes. Come on, let's go. Looks like I found a tiny little rule breaker. You can drop the act, Lucas. Tat wasn't doing anything wrong. Yeah? Prove it. Well, if you say so. Echo Bear. Echo Bear. Thanks to Echo Bear, Principal Durfler heard everything you said. <laughs> but, but I... <clears throat> the principal will see you now. Todd, you're my hero. Mine too. Hero. Hero. All right. Let's go, Covenant campers. Everyone off the bus. It's a great day to hike the scenic vista of forest? Huh. Well, this can't be right. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I thought there would be more trees to the scenic vista forest. And less giant buildings. All right, campers. One second while I check the map. Hmm. I don't understand. We took the red line to the river here, but now we're downtown? Um, Chet, I don't think that's a river. It's a blue bus line, which doesn't run on Sunday. And we just got off the last bus for the red line. All right, campers. Ada makes a number of really excellent points. Let's get this trip back on track. Right, back on track. How do we do that? We just need to look at the sun to see which way is west, and then... It looks like rain, actually. Yeah, definitely rain. Not a problem. I'll just whip up a little shelter for us with some pine branches, leaves, and... Huh. None of those things are around here, are they? Stranded in the middle of a rainstorm. This would never have happened in the forest. How do people live like this? Well, people don't really live in this area. I only see warehouses. Uh, yeah. That's why it's such a ghost town. Please don't say ghost. Normally in this situation, I'd light a signal flare. But I'm guessing there's laws against that here, so we need to find a phone. Don't you have a cell phone, Chet? Yes, but I don't get service in town. I have a very specific phone plan. Ah, there's some cover. You all stay dry. I'm gonna try and get a lay of the land by climbing this light pole thingy. Where could we be? A church! I think there's a church over there! Ada, our church is miles and miles away. It's not our church, but it is a church. But that's just where people worship God. How does that help us? Well, a church is also a sanctuary, which means it's a safe place. Of course. A church is a safe place for anyone to go. It'll be warm and dry. And I'll bet they have a landline so we can call home. Churches always have old timey stuff like that. Hey, Chet! I heard you, Ada. And this sounds like a good plan. We'll find sanctuary in that church. Let's go! <laughs> This would never have happened in the forest. Swim lesson, Clarabella. It's when things get exciting that things get dangerous, Victor. I like my swim lessons nice and predictable. But today's still going to be exciting. Miss Michelle said that we'll be doing backfolds today on our own. Oh, oh that's gosh. awesome! <laughs> that's so I know, right? I so them. exciting. We're doomed. We're not doomed, Clara. But I can't do a backfold all by myself. I need to be held up by Miss Michelle or a swim instructor of equal or greater certification. But Miss Michelle is here to teach us how to do these things on our own. And what will happen when I'm suddenly sinking beneath the icy black salt water waves? I don't think this is salt water. It tastes more like chlorine. Yeah. If you sink, Miss Michelle will simply pick you up. She's never lost a kid yet. It's hard to remember that when you're sinking like a rock. But whether you remember it or not, it doesn't change the fact that Miss Michelle has you. Yeah, have a little faith in our swim teacher. She's the best. And she's here! Oh boy, looks like you're up, Clarinet. <sighs> All right, Clara, you can do this. Probably. Remember what you were taught. Deep breath, stomach up, chin back, and push off the wall gently. I'm doing it! I can't believe I'm not sinking! Oh, this is so great! This is... Oh no! What's that? Yeah. Oh, it's just my friends cheering for me and jumping around. And they're making waves. Oh no! Oh, this is not how we practiced. I need perfectly still water. The situation is completely out of control! I've got to tuck my stomach and... No, 
Wait, no, it, it's it. Push my chin down. No, that's not right. Oh, dear. <gasps> Miss Michelle, you, you got me. Exactly like you promised you would. Clara, are you all right? We saw the entire thing. You must be incredibly shaken. Did you see me? I was floating! Uh, for a little bit. And then you were, um, not floating. Yeah, but even then, I was safe. I forgot everything I was supposed to do, and she was still there to catch me, just like she promised. <gasps> we should take hang gliding lessons after this. Hang gliding? Or skydiving! Easy there, Clara. Okay, maybe just bungee jumping. This is amazing, Ada. It's finally happening. Our super mega ultimate family reunion. I know, Otto. Isn't it great? All our aunts, uncles, and cousins from all over the world coming together today. I'm so excited to hear more about Aunt Becky's stories about dad when he was a little kid. Oh, and then there's the egg juggling contest. Oh, and also, that's We're going to have to wait for now, Otto. First, we have sandwiches to make. Wow. That is a lot of sandwich stuff. I hope it's enough. Enough for what? Enough for us to make two and a half sandwiches for everyone here. But there's like a bajillion people here. That'll take. As long as it takes. Mm. So let's start with a ham and cheese sandwich on rye bread. Add a bit of mustard. And then we'll cut it into triangles because it's a party. <laughs> and there we go, Otto. One sandwich down. Otto? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! I'm sorry I wandered off, Ada, but there's a piñata out there. A piñata! I'm not made of stone. Besides, we deserve a break. I've only made one sandwich. Yeah, and I think this is a great time to teach our family how to share. By making them share that sandwich. We can enjoy the party later, after everything is done. And perfect. Ugh, okay. So, I think we'll also need vegetarian sandwiches because we have to be ready for every possibility. So, avocado and Swiss, add a bit of mayonnaise, and maybe a slice of pickle because sometimes it's fun to break the rules. A little. How does it... friend Fantasmo and I are doing very well. Uh, we just had a meeting the... Oh! Hey! Ooh. No. No, 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 no! You don't understand, Ada. Cousins Billy, Willie, and Chili are back from their circus tour and they're teaching everyone how to use the trapeze. I could be trapezing right now. You need to stop getting distracted from what's important, Otto. Look, I know sometimes I get caught up in other things, but I don't think this is one of those times. Sandwiches aren't the point. Leave the sandwiches out of this, Otto. This is about you running off from what's important. But I thought the reason for this family reunion was to spend time with the family. Well, that's true. But people need sandwiches. They also need us. Every time I go out there, people keep asking, where's Ada? Our family thinks we're awesome and wants us to be there with them. Not distracted by sandwiches. Hmm. I suppose if we just left all the sandwich-making stuff out for everyone, they could make their own sandwiches. And we could enjoy the party! That's brilliant, Ada! Come on, we're all gonna go play the spoons while Top Tap dances. <laughs> That's what's really important right now. We won't let you down. All right, Otto. Where should we set up for the pledge drive? I'm thinking maybe by the church entrance? And what should our goal be? 
Forty dollars? Fifty dollars? Otto? What's wrong? Weren't you listening to Pastor Pete? Of course I was. He asked if we would raise money to help end world hunger. No, that's not what he said at all. He asked us to raise money to end world hunger. Not help end it. End it. <gasps> oh, no. You're right. He didn't say help. And then you said we wouldn't let him down. We can't end something as big as world hunger just by raising $50. We'd need a miracle. You're right. We better make it $100. <laughs> oh, man. This is never going to work. Quiet. Here comes the first wave of worshipers. Put your game face on. Hey, guys. Happy Sunday. Hey, you two. It's a beautiful Sunday. See you inside. Hey, Ada. Hi, Otto. They didn't donate anything? Didn't they see our signs? Maybe we need to be more direct. Hi, Victor. Would you like to donate money to end world hunger? You're going to end world hunger? World hunger, which affects 795 million people in 196 countries across the world. Um, yeah? <laughs> you have your work cut out for you. Let me know when you're done in like a billion years. <laughs> Check out these guys. Well, that's that's just Victor. He laughs at everything. Oh, here comes Gabe. Hey, kids. Aw, you got a cute little fundraiser going, huh? Yes, we're raising money. You got your cute little stand and your cute little thermometer poster and your cute little sign. Good for you, kids. <laughs> yes, but would you like Thanks to Thanks for this. I needed a smile. So cute. No one is taking us seriously. They just ignore us or laugh at us or think the whole idea is cute. I told you it would take a miracle. Yeah, let's just pack up. Hi, Ada. Hi, Otto. I'd like to donate to End World Hunger. Thanks, Monty, but we're shutting down. It's hopeless. Okay, but I'd still like to donate my whole allowance. Have a good day. I can't believe Monty gave his whole allowance. I can't believe Monty's whole allowance is just one quarter. At least it's something. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Stanescu. That was like four dollars. <gasps> it's the miracle we were waiting for. I don't know if it's a miracle. But it seems like Monty's little gift could turn into something big. Wires and cords and <laughs> nothing else. Hey, Otto, did you find it? What? The computer drive thingy? Are we still looking for that? Yes! Leo said if we could find his computer drive with the map of Jericho on it, we can use it for our Sunday school presentation. He said it's a black box with Leo's drive, number seven, written on the side. Hey, Ada, do you think this is it? Ah, uh, those are just parts to a robot Leo hasn't made yet. Well, if this isn't the computer drive, I'm gonna mess with it then. <laughs> Go for it, Robot Arms! Dash party! Uh, okay. Wait, wait. We need to get back to work. Shutting down. Huh. Well, that's not the off button. Otto! That was the computer drive! <gasps> it was? And you just threw it into a barrel of liquid nitrogen. And what exactly does liquid nitrogen do? It freezes things in seconds. Oh, so we probably can't get the map of Jericho off the drive while it's frozen, can we? No. Hmm. Oh, I know. Leo has instructions on everything in his lab. I don't. I highly doubt that he'll have instructions for a frozen computer drive. In Found it! Oh. See? It's all right here. Really? Well, what does it say? 
Uh, it says, if we faithfully follow every step of these instructions, it will unfreeze the computer drive and it'll still work. That's great. To the washing machine. Wait, what? Working. Well, the instructions say there's only one more step to go. Finally. We just have to activate Leo's freezing machine. What? But we want it to not be frozen. Yeah, I'm not sure how this will help. But Leo's instructions have never failed us before. No, we should use Leo's thawing machine. But the instructions say to use Leo's freezing machine. You just agreed that you don't see how that'll help. <laughs> there are a lot of things I don't understand. But I trust that Leo knows what he's talking about. Hmm. Leo has been right about everything in his lab. All right, we'll trust him. Even if we don't see how it will possibly work. You want to push the big red button? Of course! Let's do it! <laughs> 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 